This short video will help you understand better how grades are calculated with our new grading system. So first, why do we have grades? Well, grades are just one way to communicate how you are doing compared to the standards. It's not about how you're doing compared to other people. It is about how you are doing against the standards for the class. Grades aren't the only or even the best ways to do this. The best way is teacher feedback, and that is because it is more specific and it can only tell you where you are, but it can tell you what steps you need to take to improve. So how does a grade get determined? There's lots of activities that can help you with your learning in your classroom. Homework, projects, exams, class participation, labs. These are all just some of the ways that teachers help you learn and measure your learning. First, you need to make sure you understand the difference between a formative and a summative assessment. A formative assessment, this is practice. This is while you're learning. This helps you know how you're doing and it helps your teachers know how you're doing so that they know what the next step is. Do you have that standard mastered or do you still need more practice? And because these are practice, these don't count towards the final grade. Summative assessments are assignments that come at the end of learning. And this can give you a grade based on the skills and knowledge that you're expected to demonstrate. They're measured against a standard, not compared to your peers. These assignments do count towards the final grade. So let's take a look at an example unit. You might have a couple of homeworks. Some of these might just be collected and some of these might be scored. Then your teacher might decide that it's time for an exit ticket. Let's see what you know and how you're doing on that particular standard. Teacher sees, oh, there's one little misconception going on. I'm going to assign a reading to help you clear that up. And then we're going to have a quiz. Great job. Nine out of 10. You clearly are on your way to mastery. A few more homeworks. Some collected, some graded. One more quiz, you're still on track. And then it's time for the test. 21 out of 25. So what do we do with that 21 out of 25? Well, that's going to go into your grade for the unit. So the teacher decides which standard that grade is aligned to. In this case, they decide standard two. And you have an 84%, which is the equivalent of a B. Great job. At the end of the quarter, you should have grades for multiple standards. Most classes have between two and five standards, and not every standard will be assessed every quarter. In this student's case, they had a 77% C on standard one, an 84% B on standard two, 92% A on standard three, and an 89% B on standard four. You're also going to get a grade for your learning skills and work habits. These individual standard grades are what we think are the most important. But if you do want an overall grade, those grades get averaged and would show up in this case as an 85% B. Learning skills and work habits. These are based on your end of quarter self-reflection and your formative assessments or the work that you've done all along. Not so much what you scored on those formative assessments, but if you were completing them, if you were doing the work assigned, and if you were demonstrating uh, responsibility as a student. So in summary, formative assessments help you learn and let your teachers know what to teach next. Summative assessments show what you know and can do, and they count towards your grade. Learning skills and work habit grades show how you're doing as a learner. These are the things that will benefit you not only in the current course, but in all of your learning throughout your life. Thanks and good luck this quarter.